I'm in Hampton, Virginia, standing in front of the Emancipation Oak. It was right here in September of 1861 that Mary Smith Peel defied Virginia law and taught a class to slaves and free blacks. Two years later, President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation was read under this same tree. 16-year-old Booker T. Washington started college here in 1872. Today, there are over 5,000 students at this HBCU. The football team has won eight conference championships and been to the NCAA playoffs six times. And all of that has been under the guidance of Joe Taylor. For 16 years, the head coach of the Pirates. William Harvey is president of Hampton and has been for almost 30 years. In 1992, he hired Joe Taylor. Coach Taylor had a reputation of being, first of all, a good man. And one of the things that we look for here at Hampton is character. Additionally, he had the reputation of being a very good football coach. So if you marry those two things together, then uh, he was a perfect fit for Hampton. He is now the winningest football coach in Hampton University history. Only one losing season in 16 years. The three-time defending MEAC Conference Coach of the Year, eight conference titles, seven trips to the NCAA playoffs, and four black college championships. You have to be able to run, you have to be able to pass. You don't know what you're going to use most of that week. It's based on the alignment of the defense. We've learned that, you know, this thing called success uh, is no mystery. Uh, it's no magic. Uh, you just got to be willing to uh, put the necessary work in. The football record speaks for itself, but it doesn't tell you the entire story because Joe Taylor is about much more than football. I have come to accept coaching. This profession is a ministry. When they come in as freshmen, I see them where they are. And by the time they leave, you know, they have options. And that's what drives me. We win a lot of ball games. Uh, we won a lot of championships. But that young man that leaves here with that degree, and he has options, now that's what drives me. Jerome Barber is the team chaplain. One of his philosophies is the reason why I exist on the team is that he believes when you find a man's spirit, you find a man. He has th these little sayings that just stick with you. I, I call them coachisms. And during the course of the practice sessions, um, he drops these little nuggets inside these young men's lives. Treat a man as he is, and he will be. Treat him as he can be, and he will become. You don't. Uh, decide your future, you decide your habits, and your habits decide your future. Set your goals high. Don't ever let anybody else determine your world, because normally it's going to be too small. If you're not a champion Sunday through Friday, then you can't expect to be a champion on Saturday. The real substance of a man comes through when his back's against the wall. The game of football is not just X's and O's. He says it's Jimmy's and Joe's, and really focusing on the young men as people and not just a part of a program per se uh, helps them to not just win on the football field but to win in life. Coach Taylor has been very inspirational because he has molded me into the young man that I am today. You know, I, I came to college thinking I was just going to have a good time, play some football and cut up. But, you know, he, he, he showed me that, you know, you got to take things seriously. You got to take your schoolwork seriously as well as what you want to do with the rest of your life. He takes a licking and keeps on ticking because he has to hear the barb from me after the football games and what uh, perhaps he should have done differently. And he takes them and, he, and he, he thanks me and we shake hands and I leave and then he throws what I said in the trash can. So... <laughs> Grant Taft, the legendary Baylor coach, is executive director of the Coaches Association. I represent between 10,000 and 11,000 coaches any one year at a time high school, college, and professional. Joe Taylor is a leader among all of those individuals. Joe Taylor is an individual that not only coaches great football, but he is an individual that understands the importance of coaching the right way and teaching things the right way. The Hampton Pirates finished this season six and five, perhaps a bit of a disappointment after three consecutive conference championships. Nonetheless, it was their 11th consecutive winning season. 
Those winning ways are sure to continue under the coaching and ministry of Joe Taylor. And that sounds like a cue for just one more coachism. It's just like an apple when you ripe, you're rotten. But when you're green, you're growing. We're going to try to stay green. Thanks, Coach. One Hampton tradition started by Coach Taylor is the Football Gospel Ensemble. Since 1992, this all-volunteer group featuring more than two dozen Pirate football players has sung at area churches and schools. As Coach Taylor says, not all of them can sing, but all of them can serve. So I went there. It's about 40 guys that's actually in the choir. Five I know can sing. The other 35 do a great job of humming. Uh, but it's the spirit. There, there are a lot of guys in the choir who can sing, but there are a couple guys that uh, need to, I guess, keep it on the down a little bit. But they sing because they enjoy it and they love just, uh, I guess, uh, praising the Lord um, and giving thanks. I can't sing, but I enjoy it just being with the guys. When a group of African-American young men come together for one common goal to serve the Lord, it's, it's, I guess it's a blessing. It touches a lot of people when we go out to these other churches and uh, just show everybody a, a group of young men can come together for one common goal and do something great once in a while.